Welcome back to the Crochet Crowdles with my friends at Yarnspirations.com, the makers of Red Heart here. We have a, a number of dishcloth patterns here on this channel, and this is another one called the Color Block Crochet Dishcloth. This is spelled as American spelling. So this is using Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. There is just one ball of yarn being used, but because of the coloring, it makes it look like there's two. And this is using a five millimeter size H crochet hook, but I'm going to demonstrate with Lily Sugar and Cream so you can see where the stitches are, so you know what to look for when it comes to this yarn. Now this yarn here, I love this yarn for cleaning. Uh, it does a great job on my bathtub and my shower walls. And uh, we're gonna get started right away and I'll show you how to make this in just a second. If you are going to switch off to your Lily Sugar and Cream, this here is 100% cotton. Make sure that you use 100% cotton for your dish cleaning. So whether it's Bernat Handicrafter and Peaches and Cream, please use 100% cotton. You'll regret it if you don't. So I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter size G crochet hook today. And I'm just going a little bit smaller to compensate for this yarn. But the other yarn was a 5 millimeter size H. So now that the slip knot is on, you're going to chain 22. So let's do that together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22. Whenever you do a starting chain, it always shrinks by 20%, so it'll be smaller than what you have as this beginning chain. Let's begin the first row. Now with Red Heart Scrubby, it's harder to see the stitches, but if you're more familiar with crochet, it's a little bit easier for you uh, to, to use that yarn. So that's why I'm demonstrating with this one. So you want to do second chain from the hook, so you have the first one and the second. Use your fingertips on that Red Heart Scrubby in order to feel where the stitches are. And so we're gonna go second chain from the hook. I'm gonna get the back hump of the stitch because that's what I prefer. And I'm just going to single crochet in the back hump going all the way across. So if you were doing the Red Heart Scrubby, just look for one strand only. It's gonna be really well hidden anyway. So just make sure you just grab one strand. And by the time you get all the way across, you'll have a total count of 21 single crochets. Please complete this for row number one and put me on pause now. Turn your work at the end of the row and let's go on to row number two. Rows number two through five are the repeat through the entire pattern. Let's begin row number two. Row number two, chain up one and right in the beginning where this is coming out of, just single crochet into that one and single crochet into all of the stitches all the way across. So please do this all the way across and meet me at the end of the row in just a moment. At the end of row number two, you're going right to the end. You should still have 21 single crochet, turn your work, and let's do row number three. So row number three may surprise you because you cannot see this on the sample. So you're going to chain four and that will count as a double crochet and a chain one space. So one, two, three, that's your double crochet, and chain one more, which is the fourth one, that's a chain one space. You are going to then skip the next stitch right here and go to the second one over right here, and you're going to double crochet. And then you chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And you're gonna do this all the way across for row number three. So chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. Please go all the way across on row number three. Chain one, skip one, and then you're gonna go into your last one. Okay, so everything is maintaining its balance. And you're gonna turn your work on this to row number four. Row number four, you are going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into the top of the first double crochet. And then you are going to single crochet into the chain one space. And then you can single crochet into the next and then single crochet into the space. Let me give you an option here that you may like. What you could do, this is not in the pattern, but what you could do is that you could just start off in chain one and single crochet into the first. And if you don't like this gapping space, you can do an extended double crochet into here. So just grab the yarn and then go right into the next stitch down here. Go all the way through, let this go over top of the line, pull through, and then pull through two and two. And what that did is that it encased that chain one space so it's inside and gives it a bit of texture. So then you would single crochet into the next, 
and then come into the next one down here. So yarn over and going in, pull through, pull through two and two. And what that's doing is it's squeezing it down to provide a bit of texture. So you got some extra scrubbing power. So single crochet in the next. So no matter how you try it, um, this is the two options that you would have. And this option I'm showing you right now is not into the pattern. So you decide what works for you and you can let me know in the comments on which way you decided to go. And please go all the way across doing exactly either way. And I'll be right back in a moment. When you come into the end one, if you're doing the ones that have the space and not coming down, you are just going to single crochet into the last space and then you're going to single crochet into the third chain up on the end. And that'll maintain that look if you're going that way. If you're doing it the way that I'm coming out of here with, with the extended double crochet down, so what you're going to do is that you're gonna come on down, fill it in, and then just kind of pull on this a bit and get the third chain. So one, two, and three right there. And you're gonna single crochet there and that'll maintain that look for you there. So I just accidentally grabbed a space. Make sure you grab a chain, it will be better for you in the long term, like there. So that would be how it looks. So you would have a little bit of a space on the side, which is fine. It's a scrubby and you can turn your work in. Row number five and row number two are both the same. So you're just gonna chain up one and just single crochet across. And this gives you a bit of a texture break on either one. So just single crochet across for row number five and I'll be right back in a moment. At the end of row number five, you're just gonna finish it off, turn your work, and we're gonna begin row number two through five all over again. Let's begin to do it again one more time. So you're gonna repeat two through five until the whole um, dishcloth is about six inches in height or whenever you feel like stopping. Make sure that you finish on a fifth uh, row though. So row number two, just chain up one and apply one single crochet in each stitch all the way across and I'll see you at the other side in a moment. Finishing up row two, turn and let's do row number three. Okay, row number three, you can chain your four. And so one, two, three, four. That's a double crochet and a chain one space. Skip the next one right here and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next one and double crochet in the next. Please do this all the way across. All the way across on row number three, turn your work and let's do row number four and decide which way you're gonna do it, whether you're gonna do it the original or coming on down for an extended double crochet. If you're doing the original, please just chain up one and single crochet in the first one and then single crochet into the space and single crochet into the next. So you can do that all the way across to maintain that pattern of the original or what you can do which I'm gonna do just to maintain it to make it a tighter scrubby, is that I'm gonna chain up one, single crochet in the first, and then extend a double crochet down here. So come on down and trap that chain one space inside. And single crochet in the next, and then come on down and do it again. So this will provide a little bit more scrubby power for you as well. So please decide to do whatever, whichever one you wanted. And this is row number four, and I'll see you at the end of number four in a moment. Coming across, you have to decide which one you're doing if you're doing it the regular way. So just single crochet into the space and then single crochet into the third chain up to finish. And if you're doing it the way that I am doing it here with the extended going down, you're gonna come on down. This is the second last stitch and then pull this out a little bit so you can get the third chain up. So one, two, and three, and go right into the chain work itself. And that's the second time that I've gotten the space. <laughs> so you're gonna do that. Turn your work and let's do row number five. To do row number five, just chain up one and apply one single crochet in each. We use video chapters if you need the help and you can just scroll into the video description or the pinned comment to find what those video chapters are. And I need you to repeat rows number two through five until the whole thing measures six inches in height. Please do that and I'll be right back in a few moments. Once you get your six inches done, you can see there's actually four repeats in here just by the texture, one, two, three, four. So we did it once and then three more times. So because of the Red Heart Scrubby, you don't really need to care about what is the right side or the wrong side. Even with this version here, both sides look the same. So if you wanna keep the yarn going and making your border, don't fasten off and just start right here. 
if you would like to change out your yarn and make the border a different color like it does suggest in the Red Heart Scrubby version, then you can just start here. So fasten off and then just start right in this corner. So let's begin going around the border for round number one. So regardless if you're starting a new yarn or doing this one, just attach it if it's a new yarn with a slip stitch and then chain up one. And then in this corner here, just do a single crochet, chain two and a single crochet. And that will allow it to turn. Now, because we're gonna go down the side of this project, we just wanna evenly space it. Look at the distance of the height of these stitches or the distance apart and just kind of match it as you're going on the side down. So if it starts to pull up, so if I'm going along and it's starting to go like this, it means that you're going too quickly. And if you're starting to see it ruffle out, then that means that you're going too slow. So you're adding too many stitches in. So with experience, uh, some of us can really blaze through this pretty easily, um, but just look at it and just kind of evenly space it going down the sides. So this side and this side, and then the tops and the bottoms will literally have the spacing already set for you because you can see this where the stitches are supposed to go. So once you get to the corner, I will see you there in just a moment, just to recap. So with the Red Heart Scrubby, you can pretty much get away with anything. This one, you just gotta be just careful, make sure it's evenly spaced. You're gonna get to your corner and then just single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Take care of the ends at the end of the project and we're gonna continue along. So this is the bottom, so you can see where the stitches are and you just put one into each and then go up the other side and then across the top. So please go all the way around for round number one, doing the same thing, just making sure that you take care of those corners with a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the same stitch. Please do that and I'll be right back. I'm coming all the way around, coming into my last stitch before the corner started and I'm just going to slip stitch. The designer is asking us to turn our work, so we're gonna turn the whole thing upside down, and then we're going to start your final round, and it's again really quite easy. So the corner is behind us, so we're not gonna worry about this first corner, and we're just gonna chain up one, and we are going to single crochet into the first one, into every stitch going around. The corners, the designer is suggesting uh, uh, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, but because it is the final round, if you just wanna slam in three single crochets to make the corner solid, you're welcome to do that as well. So that's an option that you can have as well. So go all the way and I'll see you on the first corner. I'm coming across and I'm gonna hit my first corner in just a moment. So I'm gonna go right in. So you have to decide the scrubby version is a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in. If you don't want that, you can just go into that corner again and do it with three single crochets that'll also help it to turn and you'll see that'll look good too. So decide which way you want to go you can leave me a comment on which way you went on there just for my own reference and then you're just going to go around doing the same thing with whatever you decided on the corner and I'll see you back here in just a moment and we'll cover just weaving in the ends in a moment. I'm coming around and I'm just going to finish off the corner so I'm just going to put three in each was my decision and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the first single and then this is it. So because this is a dishcloth you're going to want to take time to weave in your ends and use a tapestry needle to do that. If you use your crochet hook it's going to definitely come out. So even with the scrubby you want to make sure that this end gets tangled in there quite beautifully. Now with the scrubby you cannot split the fibers for that so you're going to want to make sure that you go back and forth several times inside the stitch work itself. So just take this and just turn it over and you were just going to go into the fiber work so if it's the scrubby just go into lots of the, between the points of the stitches and just keep going back and forth on the first one when you pull don't pull to the point where it's just going to get lost or sorry to the point where it's going to change the shape so you just keep on going back and forth and in this kind of yarn if you split the fibers it gets really stuck and therefore it's harder to to do to get out and so even with the starting tail you're going to want to do the same thing I've already taken that time to do that and so now that's stuck in there as well so no matter if you did the color block or this version you were good to go and ready to do some dishes I know your favorite thing we'll see you later and hopefully you have a great day today bye, -bye.